This is a multiple choice question about unemployment. It's saying the chart shows the ILO unemployment rate for Greece between January 2017 and October 2017. The ILO, remember, is the International Labour Organization and that is an internationally used measure of unemployment. This is where they carry out a survey to find out about people being unemployed. And remember, rate of unemployment, that means a percentage. So it's the percentage of the people who are willing and able to work who can't find a job. And this chart, therefore, is showing everything as a percentage. So, for example, in January 2017, 23.1% of people who were willing and able to work couldn't find a job under the explanation, the definition of unemployment for the International Labour Organization measure. And we need to see which one of the following is the percentage change in the unemployment rate for Greece between January 2017, October 2017. So we're going right from the beginning of the chart to the end of the chart. Be really careful here because sometimes they won't want you to look at the whole of the time period. They might just want you to look at part of it. So don't be caught out on that. Now, when I saw this question, I thought, oh, this is really complicated. You've got to work out a percentage change. But that's wrong. It's not about, well, you don't have to calculate a percentage change as such. This gives you the percentages already. So all you're doing is you're seeing what's happened between here and here. What is the percentage change? And we know that here, 23.1% of people were unemployed. And we know that here, 20.9% of people who are unemployed. So therefore, the amount of people who are unemployed has gone down. So it will be 0 0.1 to get to 23. Then you have to go to 22. Then you have to go to 21. And then you have to go 0 0.1 down again to get to 20.9. So there were two whole numbers and there were two 0.1s because to get from 23.1 down to 23 it's 0.1 less then you're at 23 then you've got to go to 22 then 21 and from 21 you just go 0.1 down to 20.9 so altogether this means that the percentage has fallen by 2.2% which is this answer here. So it's gone down by 2.2 and the answer is A. Just to explain what this is not, it's not like working out saying four people are unemployed and now six people are unemployed. And what's the percentage change? The percentage change here would be the change over the original times 100. Here it's plus two, so two over the original, which was four times 100. That's how you work out a percentage change and that would give you 50%. But that's not what this question is about. This question has already given you the percentages. So all you need to do, it's very simple, is look at the difference here between 23.1 and 20.9. And the answer is A.